喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵。Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's version of I don't know anything about painting. As you can see, we're getting started on Mr. Fluffy Paws here, with a nice、uh, greenish, bluish sort of tint.、Um, obviously, you won't get this when we get home, but the greenish bluish really goes nicely against those flowers that you can see in the picture. We're gonna incorporate some purples in there too. Purples and blues really go well together.、Um, So it's just things like that which really make paintings like this stand out, you know. We've already gotten into the paws, which is a huge aspect of this painting, considering his name is Mr. Fluffy Paws. And、uh, in general, oh wait, that's it. Just kidding. Ta-da! What's next here? Oh, here we get Floppy Ears Sunny. Sunny's his actual name. Floppy Ears is my name for him. So instead of blue, we're going for orange this time. Oh wait, no, just kidding. We've got blue in here too. So instead of like a, a one color sort of like blue purple situation, we got orange and blue, which are like on the total opposite ends of the whole color spectrum kind of situation.、Uh, it's actually a proven fact that eyes can see the orange and the blues better because of like the exact. Yeah, never mind. Okay, here we got Winky Face,、um, who's also known as、uh, McTungster. So here we're going for brown. Uh, brown is what you get when you just combine like a whole bunch of different colors. I know this from experience. Basically, you just take a bunch of different colors and you mix them all together, and eventually it'll turn into brown. So, you know, for all those color connoisseurs out there, it's probably the easiest color to make because eventually you'll get there. And、uh, this dog is really awesome because he just gives great winks.、And、that's how you know, you know, he likes you, gives you that wink. Anyways, oh yeah, this dog's name is Smokey. Also, Winky Face. And here we have another purple dog. This time we're adding another color. We got purples. We also got the blues in there, but we're also gonna add pink. So it's like we're going for like the same color thing going on here, not the opposites, but we're also, you know, adding more dimensions to this one. So it really just Really, just makes it just really out there. Anyways, that's candy for you. What do we have next? So this dog's name is Otis. His ears are super perky. You know, perky ears are different than floppy ears.、Uh, I would imagine that dogs can hear better with perky ears, because I mean, with floppy ears, it's just kind of like flops over their ear holes. So how do they hear at all, really? I guess we'll never know. Anyways, you can comment below. If your dog has floppy ears, can he still hear you when he calls your when you call his name or her name? And likewise, if you have a dog with floppy ears and perky ears, can they both hear you at the same time? Anyways, with this dog, you know, his name is Otis, and he's got perky ears. Now, see here is a perfect example of of the floppy perky mix of ears, because you know they kind of perk up, but then they fold over halfway through. So this dog's got best of both worlds, because you know maybe it takes a lot of energy for those perky ear dogs to to stay perky all the time. Anyways, with this dog, we're going back to the orange blue opposite combination, and、uh, with this dog, it's it's really important because. Of the perky and floppy ears combination, you also need to do orange and blue combination. So this is Sophia. This is not a dog, but a rabbit or a hare. I'm not sure which one it is. As you can see with this, though, it also does the perky floppy combination. Yeah, all of these videos were chosen except for the first one, but all of the rest of the videos were chosen because of the ears. So that's why we're going to call this video "Ears and Friends," because it's lots of ears, and then also we get the friend of the kitty in the beginning. And here we get two dogs in one, and we've got a perky ear and a floppy ear. So this would really be the perfect kind of combination to do a whole lot of science about whether or not dogs can hear better or worse 
or just the same if they've got perky and floppy ears. So uh, if you're seeing this video, just uh, go ahead and reach out, let me know about the, uh, the situation that you got going on here. Cool. Oh man, so this is like, this is the whole, this is Rasta Dog to the max right here. Now this is something that like, you know, I would imagine this dog can't hear. He might not be able to see because just like of all of the Rastafarian that's going on here. Look, I mean, look at this dog. It's, it's just crazy. You know this dog's living the best life that it can possibly, possibly live. Anyways, sometimes I just want to like find someone who has a dog like this and just come over and just like see if I can put my entire face into their fluff and just like cover my entire head with it and see if I can do that. See how much fluff there is with all of this situation going on. I can actually see the eyes, so I'm less worried about whether or not this dog can see or not. But I think you all know what I'm talking about, with sometimes those dogs just have so much fluff, you just can't even see their eyes. It's like, they can't see you. How can they possibly, I mean, like, they don't even have any hands to brush all of their hair out of their eyes. So how do they even deal with that? Anyways, so that's Ziggy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and hit subscribe, leave a comment, or you can visit my website or Instagram in the description below. Thank you.